Hello, I'm Gareth and welcome to Stew TV, the number one cooking series for students. Whether you're looking for some culinary inspiration or just make your student loan stretch that little bit further, we've got some fantastic recipes for you. Today we are making our bolognese sauce like a mama used to make. So mama no here. So what we've got, we've got the help of our top student chef, Charlotte. Hello Charlotte. Hi Gareth. Now Charlotte, we're going to have a lot of students coming to university, some of them novices, like myself. Um, what recipes have you got that are quick, simple, easy to do? Well, what we're going to make today is a spaghetti bolognese. It's a really simple dish to make. All you need is mushrooms, onion, lamb mince, beef mince. You want the lamb for the flavour, but because lamb's quite expensive, you probably want to use a bit of beef as well. Oregano, chopped tomatoes and spaghetti. Well, let's get cracking, let's go. Okay. Would you like to chop that onion? I will indeed, let's go. I'm just going to put some water on to boil. And you want to salt the water. Uh, how, how much salt are you going to put in there, Charlotte? Quite a lot. You want it to taste like seawater. Right, and what, what does that do to the, the spaghetti that you're going to put in there? Uh, it does two things. It flavours the spaghetti uh -huh. and it also helps the water to boil faster because the salt acts as a catalyst. Fun fact. Um, Charlotte, I'm going to write messages on these. Right, have you got any tips I can... Uh, you're the doing okay, on? actually. Yeah. It's not too bad. Go on, show us for that one. You want to try not to take too much of that root off, but you've chopped it in half beautifully and nice. you need to cut that end Thanks off like much. you've done. Yeah. And then you just want to slice along like this. Uh-huh. Slightly sharp knife might be more helpful. Check your words. <laughs> if, the, if this instruction is too brief, we will have a few weeks time a precise method of cutting in this. Don't worry. Absolutely. So there you go. Some chopped onion. Would you like to start chopping up some mushrooms? Yeah, yeah. cool. Charlotte, uh, do you know why uh, it's good to have mushrooms at a party? They're fun guys. <laughs> that's, that's a joke for you. <laughs> We're just adding a bit of olive oil into the pan. That's just to stop the onions from sticking. Okay. Nothing worse than sticky onions. <laughs> right, cool. uh, you can see the onions are just starting to go a bit see through there. They're just going brown on the edges. Those will continue to cook after we put the mince in. Can you pass me the mince? Yeah, sure. The mince. Here it is. Lovely. Thank Ready. you. Star of the show. Yep. Well, just it chuck it straight in. Sure. And then you want to smash it up with the spoon. How do you know when the, the, the mince is done? Well, can you see it starts to go brown? When it's, yeah. When cool. it's all brown, it's cooked through. When I cook it at home, I tend to leave it on the heat overnight because the key with this is the longer you cook it, the more flavor you get. Yeah. So we can pop the mushrooms in now. Pop the mushrooms in. Now these mushrooms are going to cook in the juices of the meat. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get a really nice meaty flavor in those mushrooms. I'm good to know, for people like myself, if you don't really like mushrooms that much, you can, you can leave them out for you. Yeah, absolutely. They're not, they're not essential at all. Okay. They're just adding texture there. And, uh, texture and flavour. Yeah. yeah. Well. Now that's bubbling away, we can put the spaghetti on to boil. You want about 150 grams per person, and 150 grams is approximately that much. So we're just going to boil the spaghetti, and you just want to push that down into the water should soften up quite quickly. Make sure you keep stirring your bolognese, because if you want it quickly, then you have to cook it on a slightly higher heat, and it will start to stick to the bottom. Oregano is the most common Italian herb, and when you put it in a pasta sauce, it's got that real Italian flavor. You know when you eat pizza and pasta, you just taste Italy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oregano. And then this is the point where you can just leave it to simmer for as long as you like. The pasta should be cooked now, it's been boiling for a while. How, how, how do you know that's cooked? Well, there are a few ways you can test it. If you want it al dente, the Italian way, literally means to the teeth. So you just want it with a little bit of bite. So has it got the bite? It has. It. Try it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> the other way to test it is to fling it at the wall. Fling it at the wall? If it sticks, it's cooked. Let's give it a go. Here we go. Okay, so now we need to strain the spaghetti. Yep. Can you do that for me? Grab your colander. There you go. Ah! Oh. Careful! Oh, it's so hot! What did you do? <laughs> you ruined all my hands! <laughs> you okay? I'm alright, I'm alright. That was exceptionally hot. <laughs> that is definitely not how you do it. Very careful. Right, Gareth, can you pop that in the saucepan? Yeah. And then can you grab some bowls to serve this in? Yeah, try not to burn myself again. 
While Gareth's doing that, I'm just going to put the sauce in with the spaghetti. Now this is enough sauce for about six portions, so we don't need all of that. This is a really great dish. You can make lots of it, save it for another day. You just need to chuck it in the freezer, put it in some old takeaway containers or something. And uh, when you're short of money, boom, you've got some right there. I know it's only for the pasta sauce rather than the sauce and pasta. Do you reason why? You'd normally do it the other way around, um, just because that's the traditional Italian way to do it. I hate the way the English people tend to present their food, where they have the spaghetti on the bottom, just plain, and then they put a little pile of sauce on the top. That's how you see it in all the mafia films. It's just wrong. It's just wrong. And now all we need is the parsley. Could you grab that for me, Gareth? No problem. Okay, are we uh, are we ready to eat now? Yep. What are you doing? What? Ah, spoon. Sorry. Cool. Let's give a little bite of this then. It smells gorgeous, Charlotte. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, what a mess. Here we go. Mmm! <laughs> really good. That is absolutely gorgeous. So there you have it. Spaghetti bolognese. Bosh! <laughs> you can find the recipe for that and a whole load more on the website www.thestew.co.uk. You can also find us on Facebook. And you can follow us on Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe for more exclusive content. So there we have it, spaghetti bolognese. I'm off to uh, sort my hand out. Um, let us know how you get on and we'll see you in two weeks time. Goodbye. Bye.